Renters in an apartment near downtown Fargo found their cars blanketed in flyers with racist, hateful messages. They were credited to the white nationalist hate group, the Patriot Front. It comes after graffiti from the same group popped up in a South Fargo walking tunnel last month and vandalism appeared on the Red Raven Espresso Parlor. WDAY News reporter Ben Morris is live from the Woodrow Wilson Apartments where those flyers were found. He sat down today with Fargo's Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Dr. Terry Hogan, about hate in our community. Ben? Dr. Hogan says these flyers being plastered across windshields at the apartment behind me here at the corner of University and 4th Avenue North is very unsettling. And if you take a look at these flyers here, it talks about, you know, there's not too much on the surface. It talks about stealing, uh, you know, things like property and in, 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 in other, other instances like that from these, uh, from these white nationalists. And then here at the end, it, it talks about how there was bloodshed that created America and that keeping America requires that same level. But if you follow this link to the website here, you'll find just a wide range of white nationalist racist hate. We can have disagreements, but that disagreement or those disagreements shouldn't be is that I should have hate rhetoric towards you. Dr. Hogan started his role as Fargo's Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion just last year. Originally from Chicago, he says the transition into Fargo has been smooth and that these acts of hate do not represent the community he's gotten to know. The bottom line is that the problems that I have had to solve is very minimum to none. Why? Because people in general have said to me, we welcome you here. Fargo police say they have gotten three reports of Patriot Front graffiti this year. In early August, we told you about the white nationalist graffiti popping up in this pedestrian tunnel. Before that, the Red Raven. And then a viewer alerted us to these Patriot Front flyers covering all the cars at the Woodrow Apartments yesterday. If you see something that is unworthy, say something. Bring notoriety to it so that we can stop things that shouldn't be. Dr. Hogan says he's confident in the community's ability to move past this, but says that starts with everyone having a voice in city government and building partnerships, strategies, and initiatives to move the city forward. Reporting live in North Fargo, Ben Morris, WDAY News.